Hello everyone, so of course we have here the three primal zords and Yep, let's get right to um turning these guys into what they're supposed to be So yep, let's get ready Okay, the first we're gonna do is the arm which is the triceratops this type of triceratops gonna remove all the legs Stuff here, put the legs to the side. We want to rotate the arm like this, and then remove this part, which is going to be important for the whole thing. So, we're going to set that aside. Then, going to attach the triceratops head right there. And now, this is also its weapon as well. It has it uses dual blades basically, so it's able to use a type of blade that's like the one from Assassin's Creed. That's the type of blade that it carries. It's like a hidden one. So let's move on to the next one. Now we have the angel pterodactyl. Gonna remove the head. Just like that. And remove the back part here. We're going to put this under like that. And actually let me get to doing this. We're going to rotate the beak. Rotate the feather. And then we should have something like a lance. I'm going to place this weapon off to the side as well. And we're going to get to the main part which is the head and the wings there we go so there we go we have the head and now it's the wings I'm gonna just rotate that part there like that then place it right there that's one wing done move to the next Rotate like that. And right here. In between. And now we have two wings completed. And now let's move on to the next one. And now here we have the death dinosaur. So let's get right into putting it into the transformation that it goes. So we can remove the top weapon here then remove this as well that's important for later remove the arms we're not going to have it right there and for the arms we want to do is go like this for it to create like a side skirt effect but like a front skirt basically so we should be left with something looking like this. And now we're going to go to the sides and remove these panels. And then we're going to remove the head of the dinosaur just like that. Place it right there. And now this is where we're going to form the main important part of the dinosaur. Of the like full zord itself. Straighten the legs, just the legs so we can have something that's going to stand up, rotate it like that, then we're going to come up to the tail, going to do a full 360 there, like this, and rotate, and that's already one arm right there, and now we're going to take this little piece, and attach it just like that so we can have something like that forming then we're going to go under here and attach these there we go 
So now we have the front part there like that done. And now we're going to head to this part here, the bottom leg, and attach these right here. That was from the top. So that's one leg fully completed right there. And now we're going to take the head of the T-Rex. And before we do that, just angle the shoulder blade up here. Let me just um, fix, adjust the camera a bit here. Okay. So before I put the head, let's, um, what you call it, attach the Triceratops. There we go. That way everything can be balanced out. Sorry if it looks like it's about to fall like the previous videos. Uh, the surface is not really flat here. Okay. And now we're going to go to the back and grab the angel wings. These right here. And attach them in from the side. Okay. Grab the next angel wing, attach it right here onto the side, so it should be like that. Next, we're going to grab, what you call it, the, um, the Triceratops' uh, thing here, those uh, horns, and just have it be converting to when it takes that position of chest mode. Like this so we should be have something like this I'm gonna fix the camera a bit okay so now there's those two uh, what you call it connector ports right there what we want to do is just attach those into here and there we have two legs already completed weapon right there and now let's just adjust this again okay so now we can get to attaching the head of the dinosaur so we're just gonna make sure we get this positioned right just need to make sure that the that one right there there we go so now it's fully attached Just like that. Just trying to adjust the legs here a bit so that the thing can try and stand properly. Oof. Okay, and now we have the head of it. We place it on top. And then we take its rapier-like um, sword. I forgot. I think it's either... It is probably called rapier or... Probably it goes by some other name. Lance or something like that. But yeah. Put it there so it can hold it. And let me just adjust the camera a bit. Okay. And then... Just gonna grab it again. Okay, just checking to make sure everything is in place. And of course, we have now, um, what you call it, the Megazord fully completed. This is known as the Sentinel mode, or the Primal Sentinel uh, Zord. Right here. The hand, it can go up and down. And also a full 360 that it can do. Yep, that's going to happen. Yep, the head can go full 360. The wings can move as well. 
the Zord itself. The waist does have, um, what you call it, full 360 uh, moving around. It does have full 360 due to how the way it transforms. And the legs can go up and down. You can even move the feet and toes in different ways as well. The Tricera arm can also move as well. But this thing though it does get in the way, the front part of the dinosaur. That's just the only downside when I was building this thing. I forgot how big the uh, shoulder pads would become. Yep. So far though, it is able to hold itself. Oof, that was a big lump on this surface here. Alright, let me try putting it much more front here. It's probably much more stable. Okay, let me just adjust the thing a bit here. I was trying to go for an anime type look with it to give it sort of an anime look, which is why the shoulder pad is the, done the way it is and the bottom leg here. I was really trying to like combine those two things together. But I do hope though you all have enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and yep, look forward to more new Zords coming as well. Goodbye everybody.